pump you out of the water in a second. Right. Yeah, boy. I really can't tell you guys how stoked I am with that. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. I've just done about nine hours worth of driving, and that's no exaggeration to get to where I am right now. So I've been planning this one for a little while. So just the other day, I've gone and bought some waders and I brought a new prawn scoop net, and there's an inlet to my left and an ocean to my right. Tonight, the aim of the game is for me to set up camp, get over to this inlet, walk around with the prawn scoop and my head torch on and see if I can find some prawns in here. I've got the week off work. I'm down here solo. I've got the dogs with me. But anyway, I'm gonna spend at least two nights here, I imagine, and maybe a third. This week, I'm just absolutely winging it. It's gonna bust out a few episodes for you guys, but I'm pretty excited for it. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna get some prawns. You're going to see it, and I'm going to get some fish in the morning, and then I'm going to work out tomorrow what I'm going to do from there on. Hey, mate, you're going to show everyone what you've got up to in there? Hey, oh, yeah, look, that, oh, yeah, get your paws in it, why don't you? Go on, out you get, come on, out, get down, come on, come on. Yummy, 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 Guthix has done himself an absolute jam in here. Pooped everywhere. Bit devil about that one because we're meant to be out here for about five nights and he's gone and pooped all through his crate and poor Elmira's got to put up with it as well. I was stopping every hour and a half, two hours for Guthix to go to the toilet and he just decided, nah, I'm gonna go in between like he does because he's an absolute clown, but I love him to death. Is that fresh water? I don't reckon that's fresh. Oi. Must be fresh enough. Anyway, there we are. I'll set up camp now, show you guys that, and then we'll we'll get cozy, get comfy. I'll get these waders on as the sun goes down. We'll get over there in the dark and get some prawns, hopefully. That's what we're aiming for. spot mate right behind the barbie yep so what i'm going to do is just get the sand off my feet as best i can chuck these socks on and i'll take you guys for a walk over there while we've still got a bit of light and all i'll do with the camera and you guys just go for a bit of a walk out there and suss out exactly what i'm dealing with so i can have a bit of a look around have a look at the banks all that sort of thing see if i can spot anything at the moment but I'm not too worried if I don't, because later I will be going over with the head torch on. I'm trying to scoop for corn, so... I'll get into these bad boys. Ah, uh, you guys can't see it. There's a big eagle just up there, flying around. Looks awesome, scoping out its prey. Hopefully it doesn't pick one of these two. Probably more so her. I reckon she'd be on the outer limit, but she's pretty safe with me, I think. If not... I'll swipe it away with this prawn net here. So it doesn't help having my dog splashing this up at the moment, but pretty much when we're prawning later on, this is the sort of stuff we're gonna be looking for. I haven't got any insight off anyone about if there's prawns in here or not. I tried to look this place up on Google and I couldn't find bugger all. Hey princess, you like hanging out with dad, don't ya? Hey, you're gonna have to swim soon. What about you, Bozo?
Okay, so I didn't see any prawns or anything just then. There's a heap of little small bait fish getting around, but nothing exciting. But that's the difference between daytime and nighttime. When I get the head torch on and you're walking around in the night, everything comes to life. If they're there, I will see them because they said their little eyes glow up. I'll be walking around and hopefully I can scoop some. Just to give you guys a bit of an idea on how massive this place actually is. I'm set up camp right in there. You can't even see me from here. And look at the size of this inlet. And this is just the mouth of it. And this goes for kilometers back. It's absolutely huge. I've only seen two other people set up camp here today since I drove in. It is a Monday, but still, it's pretty cool to have this place yourself. Then tomorrow if we can walk to the water and get some fish from there, then it's just gonna be an awesome time. How good is that for a camp set up? You're nice and cozy. How yeah, good is this nice dry sand? I can just walk around in my socks. And they love it. I'm not soaking up any moisture, no nothing. Hey big boy. I'll pick up my first bit of firewood. Hey, it's gonna be my first bit of kindling for the fire. And you get all amped up thinking I'm gonna start throwing you a stick. Here, go on then, you can have this one. Uh, uh. Watch out. Pretty cozy there. Doesn't get much better than this. Okay, we'll grab this off. Oh, yeah. There's that. Then the chips. Steak and potato, can't go wrong. Tucking into that and that. Then we we'll get suited back up in the waders. Then we'll get into some prawning. Okay guys, I hope you can make sense of me right now with how I'm looking. So I've got the fire burning away behind me. That's gonna keep going for a few hours. I'm gonna put the dogs in the crate while I do this. So I'm just gonna be on my own. I'm gonna be about two, 300 meters away. I just wanna give you a quick rundown on what I'm doing. So I've got my little GoPro light here on my chest. So I'll have that one, this is an extra light coming off of me. I'll have my head torch on. So this is the main one you need, shining down into the water sort of stuns the prawns and they sort of stay there spooked looking at you and they don't really know what to do and then you just get the net behind them and pull them in i'll have the gopro on my head i've got the net here as well so that's my whole setup that's everything so without saying any more i'm going to get over there now and we're going to go see if we can find some together come here up, up. here you go Us. There goes my beautiful camp. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. There's prawns. Check this out. Ready? First one. Watch this. That's what we're after right there. Check that out. That's a good sized prawn too. I'm going to take that to the bank to show you guys. That's only in half a boot of water. That is very, very exciting for me. Look at that. But that is awesome. And that's made my day knowing they're here. So let's get back in the water and see if we can find some. Oh, they're everywhere. So how's my luck with these prawns? Oh, look at the depth of my boot there. I'm only just in the water. And I haven't even gone anywhere near the deeper water yet. And there's prawns everywhere here. So I don't know what the deeper water's gonna be like, but I hope you're seeing them on the GoPro where their little eyes light up. Let's get this one while he's swimming. Go, 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 yes! <laughs> oh. All right, so I've just gone for another round there again. So I'll show you guys what I've just come up with once more. And that's all in one run without emptying the net. 
bomb. So, look at these guys, man. I'm so stoked with this. That's so awesome. Doesn't get any better than that, really. Fresh, salty prawns straight out of the inlet. And they're just gonna taste so good. And there's heaps there. Whee! So once you get them out, they're pretty much defenseless. Like they're just a slimy little thing with a shell on it that is trying to swim away. So their eyes are what give them away when you're looking for them. Some nice size ones in there. Let's keep going. All in one more scoop. This right here. Oh, sheesh. Oops. Got them coming out of me everywhere now. Let's have a look. Drop a few in there. Jeez, there'd have to be 60 or so prawns in there at least now. Not bad if I do say so myself. Okay, guys, so what I'm actually going to do to take them over is I'm going to pour all of these into the net. So they're in one big bunch there. Whee, what's that one doing on the outside? Only a small one. He's, he's dead now anyway. Then, what I'll do, got them all inside the net now, and then I'm just gonna rinse them off in the estuary here. So like that. You can see how many there is. Puts it into perspective when they're all floating. Just like that. So now with all them, get a light on there for you. Hey, not on the lens. I'm gonna take them back over to camp now. Start sorting them out. I'll freeze some, keep some fresh to cook up to tomorrow. Anyway, we'll get over there and we'll do some talking. I've just come back over from the inlet there with my prawns here. So this is my initial catch and I just rinsed them off in the, in the inlet through the net just so that I don't have sand and stuff on them when I bring them over here to freeze because I've got the cryo back and stuff so I do want to take some home but I've actually just checked the Wreckfish West app and for all species of prawns your individual bag limit is nine liters per day so it's about half nine at night right now so that means I've got two and a half hours to go catch basically well, I could literally get another four times that much Let's get these in the esky and I'll show you just exactly how much two litres looks like and put it into perspective on how much it's going to look like when I've got nine, if I get that many, because it is actually a bit of work, but I reckon I can get there. Two litres of prawns right there. I don't know what that is that's in there that I've managed to snag, but whatever it is, I don't like it. Anyway, so you can see these guys. Where's a decent size? There you go, that's a good example. That's pretty much what they're mostly like. In the palm of my hand. So I'm gonna get a few more liters of them, bring them over, hopefully have that covered in prawns. You can actually see the steam coming off of them now from the ice and the estuary. They're gonna go to sleep like that. I can leave them like that till the morning, no worries. And then cry back them all tomorrow and do it again tomorrow night. All right, so I'm gonna get back over there keep going there's no point wasting any time i've come all this way might as well make the most of it load up in prawns and i'm going to be everyone's best mate when i get back to perth that's hole number two there you go so that's about four liters worth there if that to be honest so awesome i really can't tell you guys how stoked i am with that just it's not even about the prawn, like the fact that the prawns are there is good, but just the fact that it's like 
the planning, the thinking it out going, I think this spot's gonna have it, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna film it, and then it all comes together. It's just like the biggest relief and bit of enjoyment. And then the, prawn, the prawns are just a bonus. It's 10 to 11 right now at night, so I'll probably go do one more run and just do as much as I can in sort of 30, 40 minutes. And then once midnight comes around, then I'll have to finish up and start my bag limit fresh for tomorrow. Okay guys, I hope this gives you a better insight into what it looks like when I'm actually out here prawning because I've just put my spare head torch on the tripod with the camera. Basically, I'm just going to hover around in the front here and see if I can get a couple in front of you. Just you're not seeing it from a first person point of view the whole time and you can sort of get a gauge on what it really looks like. So there's one out in front of me here and I'll just go out in front of him. Just like that, so simple. So that guy there's squirming around. And you just keep doing that. I find that with my head torch on, I don't even have to move. You just you end up drawing them in just from the light. Here's another one. And all you all that you're really trying to do is just uh, basically taking an educated guess on where you think the prawn is going to try go to and then you want to be one step ahead with your net and as they try to move you just scoop them up so I'm I'm just doing it nice and slow for you guys so you can have a bit of a look so this one here might jump out of the water in a second Wait, and he did too I lost him As you can see there, there's five prawns right there, just in front of you, just caught them freshly, so we've got about 50 more of them to go to fill that glass bowl again, and then I'll catch up with you again once we get back over there. Finally coming back to the mighty camp, call it a night. Here's the damage I've done. Feast your eyes on this. Boy, how good is that, eh? All right, guys. So that's where I'm going to wrap this one up for tonight. So as you've just seen, I've pretty much bagged out on my personal bag limit of prawns for tonight, which was nine liters, surprisingly. So. I came here thinking it was going to be two litres per day and then I actually checked it it was nine litres to my surprise so quite a difference uh, I've probably kept somewhere around seven to eight litres tonight and then I dare say I'm going to do the same tomorrow but today's been quite a big day it's been quite eventful and I have filmed quite a lot so I'm going to wrap it up there for this episode I'm not going to cook any prawns on this one. I've caught the prawns, that's enough for me. I've got I've got that out of it. And then tomorrow, I'll start filming again. I've got the beach just over there. So we were in the inlet tonight. We've got a beach about 200 meters away, that way. So tomorrow, we're going to start fresh, get into filming, get over there for a bit of a beach fish, fish throughout the day. And then hopefully, if I can land some fish and then get back into the prawning tomorrow night, by doing that, then that'll give me a good opportunity to do a good catch and cook with both the fish and the prawns and I'll do something up with that so that's what it's looking like tomorrow and that'll be in the next episode but otherwise thanks heaps for tuning into this one it's been super fun uh, big learning curve new location trying new things I've enjoyed it and I hope you guys have enjoyed it too so bye for now and I'll see you in the next episode